So I just joined this random guy's lobby and we'll see how that goes. It appears to be quite highly rated. Huh. But yeah, I saw that it was uh, Black Forest on fast, so that sounds good to me. Food, please. <laughs> I like how everyone really, really wants to be in his team really, really badly. Because uh, that guy is a really good elo. So we can safely assume that he is quite competent. <laughs> and he's playing Spanish in Black Forest. Let's see, is there a sieve I would like to play today? What's it gonna be? Hmm. Start the game already! Bernard Pop. Hard to say, hard to say. I just random and see what it gets me. Let's jump straight into this. I hope I am not on the same team as the two people on Team 1. I'm not. That is good. Britons again! Man, I love the Britons. To start with the uh, usual six on sheep, and then I'm going to go build a lumber camp. Do I have any good pawns? Uh, that one's not good. I will check out the pond in the back of my base in just a second, see if that's any good. Yeah, so I'm gonna put the next. Two villagers on that lumber camp, which means that I'll have a total of three. <coughs> Alright. Let's count the fish. One, two, three, four. Well, there's five. I think I will probably dock then, although these four are in range of a mill. And. Fun fact, actually, is that villagers gather food at a different rate. Uh, for different food resources, and same with fishing ships, actually, so... Fishing ships gather from shore fish a lot slower than they do from... Um, other deep water types of fish, and even slower from fish traps. It's not a massive difference, but it is something to keep in mind. I will definitely... I'm heavily considering putting just a mill over there. Uh, because villagers do gather from shore fish quicker than our, um... Our fishing boat friends. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna shoot that boat twice. Lure him to my town center. All these villagers drop off their food first and then fire at the boar. Um, one reason why you want to force drop off the food off your villagers before 
uh, well, off your shepherds before they work on the boar is because uh, there's apparently like different types of food in Age of Empires 2, so that food is just lost um, if you do not force drop off, so that's one thing to keep in mind. I'm also going to build a. I'll build another house. Appears to be a teeny, teeny weeny uh, bit of lag at the moment. Not a big deal. Looks like it's coming from Fox Big 2's toaster oven of a PC. Hunter. Pro tip, do not play Age of Empires 2 on a TI-84 calculator with a Slim Jim for an Ethernet cable. Yeah, I never thought I'd actually, uh... Yeah, jeez. Never thought I'd actually be putting a uh, mill down for Shorefish, but hey, this is a great, great game for that. It's all that free food, it means that I can save that wood uh, for farms. Alright, so I think I'm going to slightly increase uh, the amount of hills I have on wood now. I think it's time to start getting some deer, so I'm also going to put a mill up there. I'm going to hunt my deer with four villagers, so that's when they are finishing harvesting the deer. Uh, there's no, like, when, when they have their maximum amount of meat, which is like 35, they will, like, they're going to drop it off, and I don't want any of the meat on the deer to be left. Because basically, if you harvest it with only three villagers, there's going to be like 20 food left on that deer, and that is bad. That is bad. Um... Because then your villagers are going to have to walk again to go get that last little bit of food and it's a pain in the butt. Every little bit counts in Age of Empires. I'm also going to start... Um, Alright, yeah. I'm going to start harvesting some of that shorefish. Then I'm going to put two people on gold now. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go for some sort of fast castle age type thing, and we'll see how that works. I'm going to put my scout over here just in case of any shenanigans. I don't want to put my mine, like, right up to the, uh... Like, I don't want to put my mining camp right up to the gold mine, uh, so that my villagers can just basically, like, mine from here, um, without... Like, really having to walk, and I just got housed, and that's really bad. I mean, to pretend like I totally planned that. I should be paying more attention and less talking. If you ever get housed, uh, just pull off a bunch of bills. And everything's gonna be alright. That guy is mining from the wrong side, so... We're going to stop that nonsense. And after this villager, I'm going to advance. That shorefish is doing good work. There's a wolf there. And let's advance right now. Yep, so if I time this just right, these guys should be just about... They should finish all the deer by the time that I finish my blacksmith and market. Because uh, when I get to the feudal age, I'm going to just put those down immediately. And yeah, I'm going to need to wall that as well, so I'm just going to kill this wolf. Uh, actually, if I wait till the feudal age, I'll get two extra attack damage on my scout, so that could make the difference. I think I'll also put down a house. Okay, so looks like I am going to time this just about right, that I can take out this deer. Okay. And yeah, as you can tell, I will have 800 food and 200 gold just in time for a fast castle age. What happened to that wolf? That's right there. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to do some of that walling action soon. I think I'll pull off all my foragers to build that market. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. I'm going to put much more people on the market than the blacksmith because it takes so much longer to build. Gonna drop off this lady's food. Scout's gonna kill that wolf. Gonna make one more villager. Gonna put all villagers on wood. That's 
the sound of that wolf attacking. That is the sound of Fox Big 2 lagging. And since I timed this pretty well, I'll have the blacksmith finishing building just as this villager is done. Could have done this a little bit quicker if I did not... Okay, sir, stake disconnected, that sucks. Um, could have done this a bit faster if it didn't get housed in the Dark Age like an idiot. But life goes on. I'm pretty confident that we can... Uh, survive without Mr. Stake over there. Bummer. Life goes on, life goes on. Alright, perfect. So, I'm going to want a lot of people on stone, perhaps not three. Three is maybe a teeny bit excessive, but... Yeah, I'm going to want a lot on wood. A lot on wood. That's, uh... Oh, that wolf did not aggro. That's nice. Yes. Oh, it did! Ah! Ah! Yes. Run, Mrs. Villager, run! Yay. I guess she can fight it while the scout comes. More lag! Fox Big 2, please! I am nothing but a simple carpet merchant. Alright, my tag team fighting force. My ragtag group. Boom. Equilin. Teamwork, man. That stuff is OP. Alright. You can wall at the top of that hill in case of battering rams and shenanigans and... Sweet zombie Jesus lagging Christ. What is going on? <sighs> People messaging me on Steam, man. I am just going to sign offline. And another wolf. And more lag! Why? Now my teammate's lagging. Little did I know his elo is directly proportional to his ping. <sighs> so anyway... The idea is that I am shifting my economy heavily onto wood, and I've got a bunch of stone miners so that I can really get these uh, town centers coming out in the castle age. I'm gonna wall this shit. Um, I don't care if Fox Big Two's scout gets in. Why aren't you building that wall? Yeah, that guy is not uh, not too smart. Anyway, I'm gonna put down a town center here. I like this location. It's between lots of gold deposits. I'm gonna get that bow saw out like immediately because I'm really gonna need a lot of wood for these town centers. What I think I might do is I might take these fishermen now, just pull them off, and have them make a nice town center over here. Let's go do that. I hope purple is walled. I'm gonna get cartography and go check that out. Alright, yeah, so now the question is can we outboom them? Uh, in a situation in which you are down teammates, you really want to have a like a really strong eco. We're gonna have to take advantage of this small window of time that we have, this window of opportunity in which uh, we're basically even. And wow, I never actually did my berries. <laughs> Don't think it makes a big difference. I'm gonna buy a bit of food so I can sustain this villager production. Actually, that's okay if these are all on gold, honestly. Okay, yeah, and then I need to have this woman wall that. Wow, look at all those extra boar. It's crazy. And yeah, the reason that it's okay that I have all these people on gold is so that I can use that to buy lots of food. So I'm gonna need that. Let's go. 
I'm holding down the shift key on my keyboard to make those farms come out a little faster. It allows me to queue up multiple farms to be built at once, which is nice. We'll see when uh, Grandma gets over there. Builder's got a bad hip, yo. I think I can afford to make another TC as well soon. Might want to make it in his base. I'm going to use the H key on my keyboard as well to uh, jump from town center to town center. Alright, looking good. Okay, so we got a fairly reasonable economy going on. We got that side walled. Looks like this guy is going for some sort of crazy rush. I dig it, I dig it. Sometimes it's a good idea to rush if you're uh, down a guy. If you can take out this Fox Big 2 guy immediately, then that's pretty much game. Yeah, I'm gonna ask him if he wants uh, wants me to sling him some resources. Guess since he is not responding, he does not care. That is okay. And I will just boom like crazy, and life goes on. start putting down my university, I think, because I want to at least consider advancing in the not horribly distant future. Um, if I'm going to get these longbows out, I think I'm going to want a lot more stone miners. Let's get that stone mining upgrade as well. Alright, looks like this TC is done. Looks like, uh, looks like Blue's got this shit on lockdown. That's good. Bills to hunt those deer uh, should give me a teeny, teeny, weeny bit of food boost, so I can get to that imperial age. Wolf, why? Why you have to be evil? Oh wow, they're investing uh, quite a bit in that defense. I put down a siege workshop as well. I think I want to put like two more on stone. I really want to ensure that when I get to the Imperial Age that these uh, that these houses, I mean sorry, these castles really do come out quickly. I think it's time for some wheelbarrow. Might have wanted to get that a teeny bit earlier. Good news is I also have all this extra stone over here as well, which is going to be really good. Looks like I've got a pretty sick economy going on over here. These two farmers have uh, forgot how to eat. You ever just forget how to walk? It's basically the same thing. And I'm going to reseed those farms. I think it's time to start working on some castles. Yeah. Ideally, I'd want my castles a little closer to the front line, but I don't know if I can afford that in this game, just because of the fact that I am down a guy. I don't know if I want my base get, getting raided, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so clearly I just need more lumberjacks, that's the problem. Okay. Okay. 
Bolton. Bolton. What's going on? Looks like that scout did not make it, but he gave me a little bit of uh, somewhat valuable information, I suppose. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I don't think I need to even worry about trade cards this game, honestly. I got so much gold. Because uh, I've got my allies' gold as well, so. I am not concerned. Okay, I'm gonna need more villagers, though, that's for sure. I'm gonna need a lot of wood. Because uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like the fairly standard uh, champions, longbowman style thing. How's this guy doing? Looks like he's basically completely taking care of yellow, uh, but uh, he's definitely going to need my help at some point, because uh, we are outnumbered. Yeah, I do like to use my castles to uh, protect those buildings. Even, uh, fun fact, if your teammate disconnects, you can delete his junk. If it's in the way. I had an expired farm, I heard? It's not that one. It's this one. Okay. The sound always makes me nervous, the... You know, like the Moroccan noise that it makes. That's like a watchtower over there. It's pretty funny. If Yellow, if Yellow is smart, he will have evacuated his base. No point in holding on to that. Bolden. Bold, Bolden. We get elite longbowmen as well. Start working on that bodkin. I think it's a little time for some of that gold shaft mining. We could use that. It looks like these guys are all done with that deer. I think I'm gonna pull a TC over here. Okay, so we've got this barracks down. Get a range as well. It's yeoman time, and now we can start getting some guys out. Oh, what? <laughs> That's pretty weird. It's a long swordsman over here. Curious choice, considering that, you know, he knows that we've got conquistadors, but whatever. Whatever. Whatever floats this man's metaphorical boat. Ah, oh, I see, their entire team is going for the lag strat. Where you just lag and make the game unfun. Let's get chemistry as well. So I'm gonna hotkey all of those castles to the same hotkey if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna start whaling down this guy's. I'm assuming this is the Goths guy. Yeah, this is the Goths guy's. Not really wall off. I hope that uh, Blue's got this on lockdown. Looks like he's having a little bit of issues, but that's that's gonna be purely temporary. Shame that my uh, opponent is Goths. Okay, good. He's in the Imperial Age now. That's good. We start getting out some of them uh, hand cannoneers, perhaps. Looks like this isn't is okay. I guess that is walled off. Shucks. Looks like we're gonna have to hammer through those barracks. Perhaps it is a time for a trebuchet. Get some siege engineers. Can't forget two hand saw. Some of that archer armor action. Soothing action, action, action. Yeah, yeah. 
Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna want to start working on my champions and whatnot, because this guy's goths. So, infantry are really good against those pesky huskarls. I don't think he has any of them yet, at least I have no reason to believe he does, I haven't seen them, but... I've only seen long swords, though. My ally appears to be doing alright. Looks like his forward is... It's holding together, it's not doing fantastic. And... But this is good though, it's serving as a great distraction. And it looks like just yellow is just lagging. And lagging and lagging and lagging. And hasn't really built back. So I'm okay with this. And this lag. Alright, let's push in a little bit. It's a pretty narrow choke point, which is good in case I need to pull back. No point in throwing away units unnecessarily, so, you know. It's definitely time for ballistics. Yeah, it's smart of the Goss player to wall off with his buildings, because uh, Goths don't get walls, so. But you, just, you still want to ensure that you can build some sort of wall substitute because you want to really know when the enemy's going in. I think it is time for houses. I'm going to use my barracks at the back to go research some technologies. I'm going to start forward barracksing uh, this entire area if I can. Alright, looking good, looking good. And yeah, I'm going to start getting some of these long swords out. Let's go to two hands. Might want to get some of my siege workshop upgrades anyway. Bolden. I think it's time that I can push in just a teeny bit more. I think it's fairly safe to say that I'm not in any significant danger. Um, but let's uh, let's hold this hill over here and start sieging if I can. Okay, I don't even know if I need to hold this hill, but I'll pull back to it uh, in the event that I need to. Looks like there's a town center right here. If I'm correct, I am correct. Okay, so I will pull back to this town center if I need to. I mean, I'll pull back to that hill if I need to. Alright. Okay, so I'll make these my control twos. Got champion researching up here, right? I do. And how about the defense upgrades? Let's go do some of that. I think I'll get the trade caravan. Looks like this villager died to a wolf or something. That's okay. Oh shit. I need to pull back to that hill like ASAP. It's gonna leave those traps vulnerable, that is a shame. Uh, destined to lose those regardless, because he's rams as well, and rams do have attack bonus versus siege units. Even though the game does not tell you. Go, my champions! Counter those huskarls. How's blue doing? And blue seems to have heavily neglected an economy here in this time. Which is a bit disappointing, but hey, don't think it'll matter. But yeah, he seems to have heavily neglected his economy. The hardest part of Age of Empires 2 is building up an economy uh, while you are also managing military. That is tough. And, you know, his military control is great. He's got all these forward castles and whatnot. He's remembering his blacksmith upgrades. He's doing his pushes, but I think his uh, villager count is a little, a little too low to be safe.
I'm gonna get that iron casting now. Yeah, the reason you want to prioritize your defense upgrades first on your infantry is so that, um, ironically, they do more damage by just staying alive. So, staying alive, staying alive. And yeah, they'll do less damage if they uh, if you go for the offense upgrades. Ironically, because they'll just get less hits off in general. And you know. Uh, Getting two hits of just 13 damage is better than getting one hit of just of 17. I do like these forward bombard cannons, that's nice. My teammate clearly has uh, a lot of experience with his military and whatnot. His economy is a little bit weak, but that's okay, because uh, I have been booming on the back foot anyway. And I just need to protect these trebs with those champs, and I think we're good. Yeah, champions are really good against those elite huskarls uh, because of their... Huskarls have really low uh, dura armor, which is the melee armor. The mangonels were a smart choice, though. I need to go to the staggered formation over here and start focusing those down. A lot of... Uh, awful lot of lag, though, which makes controlling my military kind of difficult, but... Yeah, this guy's getting some great mangonel shots. It heals quite good. Doesn't matter though, I can afford to uh, play some. Let's get Blast Furnace finally. Yeah, it's a shame that that guy happens to be Goths. Goths are really good against Britons. Uh, but yeah, if you're ever uh, Britons in this situation, you want lots of lots of barracks. Yeah, but we could use some hand cannoneers from our Spaniard friend. He's intelligently focusing down my trebuchets. Uh, but he will lose this eventually. I just have more money than him. I think what I want... Okay, I knew those guys were idle. I think what I want is to get... Fortified walls. Any other egregious groups of idols? Yes. Yeah, blue just must not have noticed my market all the way over here. That's fine, though. Uh, let's see if I can do a little bit more damage to their eco. Have I seen much of green? Oh, it looks like green's just fighting blue over here. Yeah, blue really needs to get that, uh, that eco going, as eco's really weak. Ah! Staggered formation, man. to treb that down. If you uh, hold down shift when you're queuing guys, they will queue in sets of five. I do not like, though, how the multiple building unit queue is bugged as fuck. I guess I'll bring in all these villagers. Perhaps I can do a bit of forward action. I don't know. I don't know what purpose these villas serve at this point. Maybe they'll let me mine this gold? I have no idea. Ay dios mio, my ally appears to be struggling heavily on this side. I will need to stream some troops to his aid. If they let me mine that stone, that'll be really nice of them. Okay, I did get that castle down. That's pretty, pretty significant. Wow, yeah, this guy's got... Like, look how wimpy his eco is. Create extra villagers. 
Oh, okay, Teal resigned. <laughs> That's actually really nice. I don't think he. I don't think Teal realizes how. Uh, we might be potentially in trouble. Mostly just because Blue doesn't really have the eco to uh, continue this and like keep up, I guess. I need to rebuild some lumber camps so my villagers don't have to walk so far. Okay, and now it's time to start pushing in this direction. Awfully nice of him to let me mine that. Uh, I appreciate that a lot. Do, do, do. You can build a farm. I'll also push this way as well. Really add some pressure on. I do want to kill some of those bills, though. Right, there's a green mining camp over here. Looks like my guys have made short work of this side of the map. Nice. Any other groups of vitals? Okay, there's just clearly too many gold miners here. Alright, so basically it's just I have to take green out now. This is kind of a weird weird area to fight, but whatever. Start breaking down this. Looks like yeah, it looks like we've got green's little outpost area over here on lockdown. gate is going down as well. Oh my, looks like I can go straight into his economy over here. This is great. I'm going to deploy these trebs over here. Uh, see if I can just clear out all these buildings like now. Well, I'm going to bring up one treb with me over here. Alright, this will be nice. Just in case there's a castle. So I think some of those buildings are castles. Push! Push like pregnant woman, push! Tonight we dine in hell. Mr. Trebuchet, please, please wake up. Okay, this is looking good. Very good. Any of those big fat buildings over here? Castles? Market? University? Maybe? Can I find out, Mr. Trebuchet, or do you not want to move? Yo, man, yellow's like... Okay, those are just clumps of houses. Okay. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. I have no idea what he means by that. Also, there's yellow's base. I see, I see, I see. Oh, okay, so I guess he's just saying that he wanted to see the show. <laughs>
All right. So let's go check out the achievements. Sweet Mombi Jesus. A slight score discrepancy between the teams. Very, very slight. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, eco difference. Uh, you can tell that Aaron, their best player, had a pretty good eco, so he put up a pretty big fight, but my eco was bigger, so I put up a bigger fight. That was nice. <laughs> that was a fun game, fun game. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, please do check out my Facebook, Twitter, and whatnot. I very much appreciate it, and yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys next time.